beings for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. At least eight people have been injured in a devastating shooting attack this morning in Jerusalem, and two of them are in critical condition. Police and emergency medical officials are reporting that one of the victims is a 60-year-old woman who's been critically wounded by shots to her upper body. The identity of the attacker has not yet been made clear, but police say he was shot and killed during the attack. The assailant apparently started opening fire as he was driving by police headquarters on Chaim Bar Lev Street, which is a main road in Jerusalem that's also served by the city's light rail system. He then sped off towards the Arab neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah with police in pursuit before he was shot and neutralized. During the shootout, one 30-year-old officer was critically wounded and a second was moderately injured. The attack has broken a spell of relative calm in Jerusalem, following a months-long wave of violence that began last September. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for more updates about the incident. Officials from the West Bank are insisting that Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is in good health, despite a health scare last week. The 81-year-old leader underwent an emergency cardiac catheterization at a hospital in Ramallah last week after suffering from chest pains and exhaustion. He was discharged later in the day and given a clean bill of health by a leading heart doctor. Abbas has long had a history of health issues and has been leading the Palestinian Authority since 2005. The latest health scare is drawing attention to the chaotic leadership situation in the Palestinian territories, where the divide between the PA and Hamas has led to postpone municipal elections yet again. Israeli Defense Force soldiers fired shots into the air after a kite with a camera attached to it was spotted hovering just above the Gaza Strip border fence. The troops took action just after the kite crossed into Israeli territory and it was pulled back into the Strip quickly. The incident comes amid increasing tensions with Hamas after two rockets were launched from the coastal enclave into Israel. The Israeli Defense Minister says that Israel does not want to spark a war with Hamas, but will respond forcefully to every attack from the Gaza-based terror group. It looks like the U.S. Congress is taking matters into its own hands when it comes to combating anti-Semitism worldwide. A congressional bipartisan task force has just introduced a bill that would increase Washington's monitoring of anti-Jewish incidents throughout Europe, especially when it comes to steps taken by European governments to combat them. The Combating European Anti-Semitism Act of 2016 mirrors an act from 2004, when then-President George W. Bush signed into law the Global Anti-Semitism Review. The act provides a legal foundation for an annual State Department report documenting anti-Semitism around the world. Yet rising anti-Semitism around the globe has suggested that new measures are necessary, and the new American Act will call on leaders across Europe to speak out against the growing problem. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.